Thousands of residents weighed in on a survey from the city to measure law enforcement interaction. 7 News reporter Sophia Radabaugh tonight explains how city leaders are using the results to improve community relations. The Citizens Advisory Board in Greenville conducted a survey to gauge the relationship between the community and the police. And the results, some say, weren't surprising at all. After 3,000 submissions and over 10,000 comments, a survey conducted by the City of Greenville Citizens Advisory Board found the majority of white people in the survey think they're being treated fairly by the police. But over half the black people surveyed don't feel the same. A member of Greenville Black Lives Matter, Hannah Burnside, says these results aren't shocking. There's a clear divide in the black community and the white community. We're treated completely separately. After digesting the results and talking with other board members, Chairman Stacy Mills plans to present a new recommendation to city council, a response team of city leaders that can come together in crisis. When something's happening across the nation that may impact our community and our activists, bring them all in the room and talk about how this is going to play out. But Mills says some of the original recommendations they made to the city still stand. The first thing that comes to mind that makes me feel really confident about our recommendations to our city council is the fact that body worn cameras are automated when the blue lights are activated and when a taser is taken from its holster. The advisory board says they're going to continue to work with law enforcement on taking the next steps and they want your voices to be heard. You can contact the advisory board through a link on our website WSPA.com. In Greenville, Sophia Radabaugh, 7 News. The next Citizens Advisory Board meeting will be held next week. Members recommend submitting any concerns you wish to voice ahead of